It's way too quiet. It is way too quiet. Come on, game, give me some music. Anyway, welcome back, guys, to some Dragon Quest IX, and uh, we have been fighting a lot of Salmarauders off-screen, and, well, they've finally dropped something for me, so here we go. Mage picks it up and reads uh, what's written on the letter. Well, he's finally tracked down the whereabouts of the bounty. Yet there be no uh, toidens of joy, not one of me shipmates is left standing to share in a dropper of uh, rum or... Uh, of, uh, you know what? Screw this. I'm not, I can't be bothered doing the pirate accent. It's too difficult. It's too difficult. But anyway, uh, the watery graves, no pirates. Brian lost uh, of hope and all spirit of adventure as he was. I wonder if he's... Uh, I wonder if I's ever in his... See, they talk weird. They talk bloody weird. It's difficult to read. Um, treasure, a seafaring dog. Mage couldn't make make out anymore. Okay, he acquires the last letter. <laughs> right, so we can get out of here. Then we got what we needed, and there's music again. Yay! Right, Ricardo, get us out of here, please. And I need to remember the island. Oh, that's what it was. It was the it was the snowy island with the cabin and the corpse in the cave. That that's what it was, right? So let's summon the uh, Starflight Express again. I have looked into the other quest we got, which was something to do with the corner of the ocean. I think I know what we're supposed to do with that. Although we'll need to use our ship because there's some enemies that we need to kill around the corners of the ocean on the world map. But um, for now, we're going to focus on this quest. Go back to old Brian's corpse. And yeah, I, <laughs> that's pretty much all I know to do right now, really. So let's go back over this way. Enjoying the sights. A slightly glitchy looking world map, but it's still pretty cool. And here we are. So I need to land in the cave. We'll get into the cave. Ah, it actually dropped me pretty close to the cave. That's good to know. So it does actually matter where you disembark. Oh, I see. Right, Brian. I know you're still very dead, but um, we're going to give you this letter. It's just a corpse. Read the captain's last letter to the corpse. Yeah, as long as I don't have to actually read it. Oh, and a ghosty. Why, it's old Brian. Captain, Captain! Or I never, th never thought I'd be hearing me dear old Captain's last words on a, as a salty skeleton. Thank ye, no he can rest in peace at last. Yep. Uh, the letter, the map, as I suppose you'd call it, uh, that, that'd be yours. Oh, happy plundering, you scurvy young swab. Thanks, man. We'll be praying that you lay your hands on all the treasures we never did. We will finish what you started, Lord Vader. Uh, a treasure map drawn on the back of the captain's letter. Baramos's map level one, eh? Okay, so let's um, let's open up that map and see where we need to start looking. Now, again, I don't really know what to expect in this uh, grotto or. I assume it's going to be a grotto, but we're going to check it out. So let's see. Items, treasure maps. So yeah, Baramos's map. Hmm, I have no clue where that could be. I, uh, I'm, I'm going to have to look it up. There is no way I'm finding that anytime soon. It's going to take me like two hours. So. We're going to look it up, guys. Uh, and also, I might quickly nip back to... You see, I don't know if I want to bother doing that necklace quest. This this one's a bit more interesting to me. So, you know what? We are just going to ignore that other quest for now. We're going to resummon the... In fact, I can probably just zoom. Yeah, Mage is going to... I don't know where to zoom to, though. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm going to look up the location of this goddamn map. Okay, I have done a little bit of sneaky research, and uh, it looks to me 
like the location of the map in question is over in this general direction near, um, well, as you can see, we're in Western Coffinwell. So we'll climb up these stairs, avoiding all the snakes. And the grotto should be around here. So let's open up the map again. Yeah, this looks like the place. Go treasure hunting! What awaits us in this grotto? I have no clue. But here it is. In we go. I mean, it says it's only level one, so... Oh, but hang on, there is no music. We are straight into the boss level. Uh-oh. Are we even ready for this? Ugh. I'm not sure. Unfortunately, Mage is not at max MP, but... Let's see who this Baramos is. Oh, hello. Uh, so thou hast finally made it here, eh, mage? Wait, you know who I am? But alas, too soon, for thou and thine do not yet know thyselves well enough to oppose the archfiend Bar- Aren't you that one? Aren't you him? I- Thou wilt regret thy coming indeed. You shall be dead for good, for I wilt surely feast on thine innards. Oh dear. Methinks- Oh wow. Wow, nice background, dude. That certainly didn't look like that <laughs> just a minute ago. Okay, I don't know how tough this guy's gonna be. I have a feeling he's gonna kick my ass. So, we'll see how that goes. Egg on, Olivia. Mariella, let's get some buffs. Uh, where's my buff spell? There it is. Psych up. And Ricardo, let's get some speed. Oh, nicely dodged. Ah, is he really only attacking once per turn? Am I supposed to know who this guy is? <laughs> I'm a little bit lost, I'll be honest. Either I've forgotten who this guy is, or I didn't know in the first place. Right, Olivia, let's get you to 100 tension, my lovely. Let's buff Ricardo. And Ricardo, let's get some oomph on Olivia. This music is familiar for some reason. Holy crap. Okay. So magically, he's pretty good. 100 tension, yes. Let's get some damage on him now. <clears throat> Just don't miss, Olivia, please. For the love of all that is holy, do not miss. Uh, Mage, you can psych yourself up. Mariella, let's do some healing. Hard claw, as usual. And Ricardo, let's try and get a sap on him. Oh, yes. 1400 damage. That'll do nicely. And he's not affected. Holy dick balls. Wow, and now he's attacking twice. Dude, that ain't cricket. You can't suddenly pull that out of your ass. One shot at Olivia, with like 355 damage, was it? That's insane, dude. Okay, okay. Uh, well, what I'm gonna do before we revive Olivia is a multi heal. Because we kinda need it. And, uh, Ricardo, you cast, uh, an oomph on Mage, please. That was very nasty. No, I, I thought we were handling this guy pretty well. Dude, are you fucking serious? <laughs> wow. Okay, I don't think I'm going to do this anymore. One shot, I thought when he was attacking Mage, I was like, oh, we'll be fine. Mage has got all the defense. I don't think that matters. He's just one shot on everyone. Crap. What do I do? 
well, I've got to try and revive someone. Um, unfortunately, all that psyching up for mage is, well, it was now pointless. Let's get Olivia back. Uh, Ricardo, I honestly don't have a clue. Let's try, um, let's try decreasing his attack if we can. Not sure it's really going to help. Nope, wasn't affected anyway. That's, uh, that's, it's not looking great. Oh, at least Olivia came back, though, but she's probably going to die super fast, too. Uh, do I want to do a coup de grace? Yes, we'll do that. Uh, Olivia, you might probably... You're gonna die. So I'm just gonna have you psych up anyway. Uh, Ricardo, let's get a coup de gras. I do not have any confidence that we can do this, chaps. Maybe this is why we'll have to do some grinding. Mother of dicks. Oh, oh boy, this guy ain't, ain't kidding, is he? Jesus. He ain't playing any games. Okay, so we're really probably going to die now. Uh, I'm going to try and bring back Mage, but honestly, I think we're fighting a very losing battle here. Um, at least we did some damage to him, though, but not much. I thought maybe we'd get lucky and finish him. Maybe he didn't have that much HP, but... Uh, I think that's really, really optimistic. Kaboom. That's not good. Bugger. At least we got another coup de grace, but that doesn't really heal by much. I think I am better just going for a multi-heal, but again... I think we're pretty screwed here, chaps. So, I may have to go do some leveling. Um, let's try... Uh, I mean, we're so screwed. There's no way we're going to come back from this. But we'll try a coup de grace. Let's see if we can at least stall him a little bit. With a roaring tirade. Alright, he's frozen with fear. Ah, but he's using another turn, and at least Mariella took that pretty well. Come on, bring back Mage. Yes. Okay, we're st we still don't stand a chance. But maybe if we can get Olivia powered up, maybe, just maybe, we can get another attack on him. But again, I don't have high hopes. At least we got a nice fast heal there. Just don't kill Olivia. Okay, well he's killed our healer, so there's no more revives unless I want to use items, but I don't really want to waste them. Olivia has survived. Just. 50 tension, we're going to have to go for it. Mage, you might as well do... Um... You won't get a chance to, but you might as well try a Giga Gash. Nope, he ain't dying. He ain't going down so easily. Bye-bye, Olivia. Mage has got 69 HP, who is about to also die. Oh, he reflected it. Wow. <laughs> Imagine if Mage beats him now. No. <laughs> okay. I mean, nearly. Nearly survived pretty well there. That would have been pretty nice, but... Nope. That is the end. My dear friends, the party are wiped out. So, um, we probably lost a bit of money there. Yeah, we did. But that's, that's actually not too bad. I'm not going to reload or anything. Actually, no, I might do. <laughs> I might do. So, my plan is to go uh, fight quite a few metal slimes where we uh, found them last time try and get some extra levels. Maybe... Hmm... I do want to... I do want to unlock that Sage class, you know. I wonder if we can get back to the Realm of the Almighty now. I think we can. Which would mean... Oh, 
But then again, the, that's not the realm of the mighty, is it? I just wonder if I can find some great trolls to finish off that quest. I think I only need two more. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. You know what, guys? I, uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna try and see what happens when we go back to the realm of the almighty. Let's, uh, use our whistle again. Ooh, Baramos, or wow, however you say his name, whoever he is, bit of a tough cookie. But I do want to kill him. I do want to kill him. It's going to be tough, though. Oh, boy, is it going to be tough. Now, how did we, um... How did we do this last time? Did we just try and disembark here, and then it says, no, you can't? Head for the realm of the... Yes, head for the realm of the Almighty, please. So yeah, that's still looking pretty normal. So, I don't know. I think I might be screwed. Because there's not going to be any great trolls here. Crap. What is the point of coming back here, though? I wonder if there's going to be, like, a super amazing item we can get. Hmm. We'll check out the palace. Is anything going on in here? Looks pretty empty to me, chaps. Don't think this is going to be of any use. Oh, hang on. Oh, well, we can chat to Celestria. Mage, how is it that you, a mortal, are able to come before me here? Well... It was an extra fig for somehow. I've, I'm not quite sure myself. Were it any other of my children, perhaps I would be more surprised. I must thank you, my child. Were it not for your efforts, the realm of the Almighty would not have been restored. However, should there be matters you have yet to put to rest in the realm of the Mighty, created by Corvus's corrupted hand, I am able to call that realm back into existence? Oh, sweet, so we can get the Sage Quest done. I do! Yes, that is what we're going to do, guys. We're going to get the sage uh, unlocked. And then maybe do I'll just do probably quite a bit of grinding. Ah! How very convenient. Thank you, uh, Celestria. Again, though, I'm not sure why she would want to do this, really. <laughs> Does that mean Corvus is alive again? I'm not actually sure. I wonder if you could fight him again. Huh. Well, guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to run back up to where we found the great trolls. I think there was um, an area with some prison cells. That shouldn't take too long to get back to. I'm going to kill two more of those, then I will meet you back at wherever it was we need to hand in the sage quest. I can't remember exactly where it was now, but we'll, we'll I'll see you back there momentarily. It's probably going to take me a little while to do this, but... That's okay. Okie dokie, that actually didn't take too long. So, we are back in the realm of the Almighty. Uh, it seemed once I evac'd out of there, it brought me straight back here. And uh, Celestia was like, yeah, if you ever need to nip back to, you know, the super evil place, just give me a tinkle. So, that's what we're going to do, if we need to in future. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to zoom back to uh, Gideon Palace. Fuck. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Ah, uh, fine, I'll go outside, okay? I'll go outside and do it. Are we happy now? I... Ah, uh, I can't believe I forgot that. <laughs> Gittingham Palace, we need to find the... It's... Oh, it fails? Why does it fail? Why? Can I... Oh, can I use my whistle at least? Please tell me I have to use my whistle. Oh, for God's sake. You can't call anything in the realm of the Almighty. That is such a pain in the bum hole. Fine, we'll run all the way back to the entrance. I'll just meet you guys back at Gittingham Palace. It was the um, one of the bookcases that we got that quest from for the sage. So, yeah, I'll uh, I'll see you there. Okay, so here we are back in uh, the Moonflower Palace. I mean, uh, Gittingham Palace. It wasn't the staircase. Was it not in this door? And then up here. I think this was the way. 
Yeah, wasn't this the bookcase? Yeah, Secrets of the Supreme Sage. Oh, it's you. What's that? You've completed my task? Well, we'd better make you a sage then, hmm? Please do. Now, where did I scribble down the instructions? I think it was on page uh, 124. Ah, yes, here we go. Mm, yes, here we are. Uh, these are instructions on how to become a sage. Have you... have a read, why don't you? You are now versatile enough to venture into the sage vocation. Oh, I've been wanting to do this for sages. Uh, the sage in the pages quest has been transgressed with finesse. Yay, new class, guys. Can't wait to uh, level up Ricardo in in that. Probably. Well, do I want to? No. Yeah, I think we're, gonna, we're definitely gonna. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Oh my gosh. No, maybe I'm not gonna sneeze. Why don't you come back here and see me when you've reached level 15 as a sage, and I'll hand. Um, okay. I'll. Uh, I don't know. I, I'll try and get as high a level as I can. It shouldn't take too long, really, if we are just going to be fighting Metal Slimes. But that is what I'm going to be spending uh, quite a bit of time doing. I'm going to nip to uh, Old Trade Zabby, change Ricardo over to the Sage class. And I won't spend any of my skill points, though, as I'm leveling him. I will save that for uh, the video. I will definitely show off what I spend those on, but... Yeah, most of my leveling is gonna be off screen, and he's gonna, I'm sure, he'll learn spells and stuff, but I'll, I'll update you on on uh, the happenings when we come back. And uh, yeah, so I will be just a moment, although for me, <laughs> for you guys, it's gonna be like a second. For me, I think I have quite a long night ahead of me. Oh, but I do like to grind, I do like to level, so I'm gonna stick on, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna stick on some Bob Ross. And I'm just gonna have a nice chill night. We're gonna see how how far I get. I don't know how long I'm gonna spend doing this, but probably a fair old while. I wanna I, I wanna see how good this sage class is. So so yeah, wish me luck, guys, and I will see you in a moment. I've been busy. Welcome. Yeah, that was like I said, just like a couple of seconds for you guys at the most. But for me, I've just spent. A long ass time grinding various classes getting as many skill points as I can and uh, yeah I'm gonna spend a good while now spending those skill points so strap in it's gonna be a long ride uh, we are at Ultra Zabby because I'm gonna be swapping classes again with probably Ricardo I've got him well first of all Mariella and Olivia are level 50 and 51 their class hasn't changed, <clears throat> although I've got them with some skill points as well. I briefly changed Mariella to a Paladin, and she's got some skill points from that that I want to spend as well. But Mage is currently a Paladin, and I'm thinking I'm going to keep him as a Paladin. Even though he's only level 34, I, um, I can use swords with the Paladin, thankfully, now that I've maxed the swords out with the Warrior. Uh, Ricardo's a Sage. Now... I was pretty excited about the Sage, it is really good, but unfortunately, spell-wise, you don't have, like, the Oomph spell or the Accelerattle spell, and I think that's why I'm going to swap him back to being a Mage, but um, at least we'll still get a lot of the buffs from the Sage once we spend our skill points, so, so yeah, pretty much everyone's going to be the same except Mage, who is going to be now a Paladin, we're going to see how that goes. Uh, so, let's get spending our skill points, shall we? Oh, and also, I did learn a few new spells with people. Um, hmm. How do I actually check those without being in battle? Is it attributes? Uh, yes, okay, so Mariella has learned full heal, which, um, you know, is going to be... Pretty nice, although we've not really. I, I would have preferred Omni Heal, but apparently we only learned that in the 60s, and I ain't gonna get that high level. I'm sorry, guys, it's just not gonna happen. So she's learned full heal. Don't think she learned anything else. Could be wrong though. Um, yeah, she learned a few spells as a paladin, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, Olivia doesn't learn shit. 
Uh, Ricardo, again, there's no point going through these spells because I can't use them once I change back to the Mage class, because I really, I really want the Oomph spell and the Accelerator. Otherwise, I would have definitely st stuck with the Sage, because you get Multi-Heal, Kabuff, which is really cool, uh, Zamal, things like that, Zing. Having someone else that can revive people would be great, but I just, I can't sacrifice the Oomph spell especially. I love that thing, so... So anyway, uh, and Mage has learned some pretty useful stuff. Like Kabuff, so he'll be able to, you know, up everyone's defense. Magic Barrier, Kamikaze, which I'm never going to use. But, I mean, at least uh, we have a few more spells in our inventory now. So, let's get spending these points. Oh boy, Mage has got 102 skill points, guys. And I could... I could have got many, many more, I'm sure, but I just don't have the patience, and I think we're going to be okay, or at least I hope, uh, to take on that um, evil Baramos, or whatever his name is, who is apparently, I looked him up, he's originally from Dragon Quest III. So, there you go, I didn't know that. Uh, and let's just plow all of these points into virtue. We are going to get so much resilience. And uh, forbearance, which apparently is really good too. And a lot of HP. So well, there we go. I, I I mean, really, this is the reason I have so many skill points for Mage, is because I wanted to max out this skill tree. Because that is going to make him quite the powerful tank. I'm hoping he won't get one-shotted anymore, but who knows? So that's um, 100 into that. Uh, I'm not going to be swapping back to Warrior, so I might as well pop some of these into Shield. Yeah, why not? Confirm. Yes. So we've learned Pincushion. No idea what that does. But really, I want the resilience increasing. And the Magical Mending, you know, is going to be nice if we ever have to back up heal, which we probably will do. Heachpathy and Empathy, I have no idea what they do. Magical Mending increase. Resilience by 30. Selflessness. No idea. Forbearance. I've heard this mentioned in the comments, which is the only reason I know it's probably pretty good. And HP increased by 80. Holy crap, that's good. Holy crap. So we're going to get a bunch of accolades here. Uh, off screen, I actually got a few accolades. I can't remember what they were for, though. Something to do with being stylish, which I don't really get, but anyway. So, we're just going to skip all this stuff. It's not very important. Now, Mariella only has 46, but still, that's quite a few points. And uh, we're going to be putting all of those into Faith. Because you've got to have Faith. So, we're going to get a bit more MP, a bit more Magical Mending. Unfortunately, I just couldn't be bothered to get her to 100 skill points. Or at least enough to get to 100 skill points in this tree, which would have been nice. The 100 magical mending would have, you know, can't sniff at that, but I just can't be bothered. So, confirm. Rot Stopper. We'll check out some of these abilities, uh, if we can, before we re-encounter the dude. Because that is really the whole goal of this video, is to just beat this guy. We want to rematch Alma Mater. Okay, no idea. Olivia only has 18 points. I was really just focusing on getting her leveled with the martial artist. So we're going to plow those into focus. Should get some nice agility at least. Not much else though, sadly. That's okay. But agility plus 30 is uh, not too shabby. And finally, Ricardo with uh, a very respectable 90 points. Those are going to go straight into Enlightenment. Um, I think. I think. Now, the thing is, I am going to change him back into a mage. So, I'm, I'm going to probably... I mean, it's either wands, or... I think Enlightenment's the better choice with the Magical Might increase. 
Uh, Magical Mending isn't really going to benefit him once he is a mage again, but, I mean, we can get things like Disruptive Wave, uh, Caster Sugar, which I think increases magic temporarily or something. Let's just... Yeah, I'm going to put them all into... Um, well, I'm going to put 82 into Enlightenment, and then I'm going to swap back to being a mage. And probably just throw the rest into wands for now. So, 82. So at least we got a bit more MP as well. And yeah, Jack's neck. <laughs> Not a clue. But Magical Might, that hopefully will help us. Right as rain. I mean, I would love to stay as a sage. I really would, but I just can't sacrifice the ability to use oomph. I, I love that spell so much. I mean, maybe it's a bad idea, but that's what I'm doing. Right, let's get Ricardo back as a mage. And uh, then I think we're pretty much good to go. Other than possibly I could upgrade equipment, maybe. And if we still struggle against this guy, that's what I'm going to have to look into. I did try to decursify the, uh, or exercise the, um, the Ruinous Shield off screen, but sadly I don't think I have enough Saint's Ashes. So, oh well. Right, so let me just check his stats a second. The Magical Might will be 4 to 4. Oh yeah, yeah, much, much better. Yep. Yeah. Okay, we're going back to Mage. Let it be so! And, you know, I've, I've upgraded everyone's equipment. Well, specifically Mage, uh, Mage's equipment, because he's a paladin now. He's got all the best stuff. And, uh, yeah. I think that's um, how things stand. We're going to rest at uh, the inn, though. Oh, crap. You know what else I forgot I, to mention? I did a quest off-screen. I did the quest involving killing two slime, metal slimes, after using the Wizard Ward ability. Uh, so we need to hand that in too, actually, before we do anything else. Where was it? Operation Mercury? No. Elementary Training. Yeah! So, we could get the um, Elementalist class, I think that's what it's called. So, I'm probably not going to use it, though. Unless we get our ass whooped again, and I'll see if we can get some good, easy skill points from it, and see what abilities it has, but um, we have done it at least. So that's cool. And in fact, the guy we hand that into should be around here, shouldn't he? Or is it... am I thinking of somewhere else? I don't know. Let's quickly use the inn. Um... Yeah, I need to remember who to hand that quest into. I should have I should have checked when I was looking at the quest info just like two seconds ago. Man, you know what? I've this has been like ten minutes, eleven minutes nearly of just upgrading my characters. <laughs> but hey, it had to be done. You know, we um, we're in a much better. I think we stand much more of a chance now, especially with Mage having so much HP as well, and uh, the resilience boost. That's going to be pretty spiffy. I just really hope we can put up a better fight this time. Now, I don't... Hmm, I'm not sure. Let me... Yeah, let's, ch let's, qu let's check again. Let's check again. Quest list. Um, yeah, Windy at Old Trades Abbey. Okay, so... Who was it? Was it not a guy inside Old Trades Abbey? I seem to remember. We might have just run past him. Wasn't it this guy? Yeah, it was this guy. It was this guy. Delightful! You have defeated the Metal Slimes as instructed. Yes, I feel the power of the Force beginning to stir within you. As I have devised such a perfect training task, only an elite arm armamentalist, not elementalist, such as I could have performed such a feat. So, now you have seen it. Go! Uh, sorry, I can't read. Now you have felt it. Now you have opened the door in your mind to the Fellowship. You are now versatile enough to venture into the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Good to know. Maybe we'll get a chance to check that out at some point. 
but I have no current plans to do that. Ah, sip of water. Stay hydrated, chaps. And, uh, right, so... Should we go take on the dude again? Do we do that? Are we ready? I don't know. I'm very nervous. But we'll need to go back to Coffinwell. And make our way back to the grotto. Yeah, so you know what? I'll just, uh, I'll see you guys there. Alrighty, here we are. Round two, the rematch. But first, I completely forgot to allocate the rest of my skill points for Ricardo. Not sure if this will really help at all, probably not, but I'm going to do it anyway. So he's got 27 in one skill now. There you go, pal. There you go, buddy. He's learned Bezel Freeze. Alright, so during this fight, I'm going to check out all the new abilities we've learned as well, just uh, to see what they do. But here we go! Oh man, he's gonna he's gonna kick our ass again, isn't he? I'm really not confident, even with all the grinding I've just done. And I did spend a long time doing it, you know, I was fighting so many metal slimes. But, um... Let's, let's give it a go! Right, so... Mage, with your new paladin-ness. What do you have? Pincushion, Sprouts protective spikes all over the user's body. <clears throat> okay. Donate some HP to fellow party members. Donate some MP to fellow party members. That's not bad. And also a benefit of being a paladin is more MP anyway. So more giga gashes if possible. Selflessness take into... Uh, step into take a blow for a party member in peril. Okay. And forbearance. Stand steadfast in order to protect allies from attack. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, maybe we'll have to try that one. That does sound good. So that must just be, like, selflessness, but, you know, any ally that gets attacked. Kind of like, um, a better Whipping Boy? Because with Whipping Boy, you have to select a party member to protect. But maybe with Forbearance, you don't need to. I don't know. Let's, um, let's try it out, actually. Mariella is going to check out Rot Stopper, protects the party from undead enemy attacks. Offers up a prayer to prevent instant death attacks. Ooh. Although, I I think he just uses... He hits so hard that it just insta-kills us anyway. Um, uh, you know what? I kind of want Mage to kabuff us, actually, a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to have him kabuff us first. Mariella is going to... Um... Insulate us, just in case that helps. Olivia is going to psych up. And Ricardo is going to try and blunt this guy. I think. Yes. Oh, I'm very nervous. Isn't affected. What a surprise. And I'm hoping these buffs will mitigate some of the heavy damage that he was doing. He, he wasn't too bad, though, to start off with. Okay. It's when he does those super heavy physical hits that just one-shotted us that I'm worried about. Okay, so let's go for a forbearance. Um... Actually, no, I'm going to egg on Olivia. Let's try and get her psyched up quickly. Mariella's going to multi-heal. Olivia, psych up. And Ricardo, let's oomph Olivia. Blazing Fire. Should be able to survive that. As long as he doesn't do another attack after that, we really need to heal. In fact, I'm going to increase our agility. We desperately need to get faster. Specifically with Mariella. We can't be letting him get in attacks before we can heal, so... Mage, another forbearance, please. Um, Mariella, I'm gonna do another multi-heal. 
Olivia. So I'm gonna. Uh, do I risk trying to go for 100 tension? No, I'm just gonna attack him. We've got to get some damage going, and let's. Um, yeah, so Caster Sugar increases Magical Might and Magical Mending. That's pretty good. But let's get some Accelerattle on the go. Okay, that's good. Nice one, Olivia. And some speed. Okay, that's good. And kaboom, this is going to sting. Oh, dude. I think forbearance might have been a really bad idea, actually. I mean, at, at least he did protect the rest of the party. But man, he took a heavy hit there. Holy shit. That's not good. Right, we need to hope... For, oh, I really hope Zing works first time. Olivia, psych up again, please. Ricardo. Um, another Accelerattle. Man, I, I expected Mage to maybe survive that, but at least he's back to life. For how long? I don't know. Ooh. Damn it! Damn it, damn it, damn it. Ah, oh, crap. Losing Mage may have really put a monkey wrench in the thing. Oh, sugar butties. I don't think we're going to get lucky with Zing again. But the problem is I need to be able to heal him, because he just never survives. Oh, but I need to multi-heal. I need to multi-heal. This is where a Sage would have been useful, guys, being able to do two multi-heals, but oh well. Maybe I'll have to try that next time if, uh, if we really struggle here. Uh, Olivia, psych up again. Ricardo, can we... Hmm. Do I use an Yggdrasil Dew? The problem is, I'd probably use that before I revived Mage if I was going to do that, so... Yeah. Let's try and sap him. In fact, I'm going to I'm gonna go for another Blunt. It's probably a bad idea. But we need to be able to take some damage. We can't risk losing anyone else. He isn't affected. Ugh. Okay. I think I'm going to risk another zing. Unless... Hang on a second. I wonder if Olivia... Oh, but she's... I want Olivia to attack. Um, no, I'm going to try another zing. And pray to God that we can survive this next round. Uh, Olivia, psych up again. And should I go for another... Should I try another blunt? It just doesn't seem to be working, but I could really do with lowering his attack. I'm going to try it. affected. I'm going to have to stop doing that. It's just not going to work. Oh, no, Ricardo. And a Kafriz. Oh, my lord. <laughs> this is not going well. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, and Mage doesn't... Re you know, I really wish Kazing... <laughs> we had Kazing. I might have... You know what I might have to do? I might have to go get some uh, Yggdrasil Leafs, which I think I can get from the world map somewhere. Uh, I just... I need to be able to revive people. My mistake, I truly believe my mistake was using forbearance, actually. Um, so what do I do? What do I do? Try and bring back mage? I mean, we're going to die anyway. I think this is... I think we're going to have to try again. I think we're going to have to try again, chaps. Olivia, you might as well attack now. You, you, what, you, you're not going to kill it, but at least we've done more damage to him than we did last time. He is a tough son of a bitch. Yep, bye, bye, mage. Bye, bye, Olivia. Well, 
Okay. Oh, and a kaboom just to really finish me off. Thanks, dude. You little sod. Uh, right, well, this has probably been long enough of a video, chaps. So what I'm going to do is next time we're going to have another rematch. Hopefully I'll come up with a better strategy next time. Um, I definitely do want to beat him. I just don't know if I can without doing more grinding, which at this point I'm really not too keen on doing because I spent a long ass time last night, like a good two or three hours, I shit you not. So uh, if I can beat him as is, I would very much like to. Thanks for watching anyway, guys. Uh, wish me luck for the next video where we will take him on again. See how that goes. Hope you enjoyed the video anyway. And uh, stay safe, look after yourselves, and I will see you next time. This is Snake, telling you to subscribe to Mage Masher 22 on YouTube and Twitch. Snake out.